There are a few things in the world I really love. Just a few. I love my family. I love my dog. And I love cheese. I actually say as much on my Twitter profile, and while I've become increasingly bad at doing it enough, I love sleeping. So when I noticed that the statistical correlation between death by bed sheets, you heard that right, and sheets, had been calculated, I grabbed a big old hunk of Gruyere, slipped between the sheets, and I thought about 360 degree marketing. Now, the coincidence of a website devoted to nothing but the stupidity and how statistics can be made to say anything, getting major play on the internet yesterday, and me writing about bed sheets and cheese today is just that. It's a coincidence, nothing else. So, too, is it a coincidence that yesterday was the day that HubSpot, one of the players in that article about how statistics can be manipulated, became a public company. To Kim Jerstad, I say, don't worry. Cheese and bedsheets didn't make me think more than peripherally about you or male poet. But male poet's Kim Jerstad isn't done explaining the importance of statistics in 360 degree marketing. And here are three more mostly unrelated statistics from Jerstad's 360 degree marketing presentation at WordCamp Europe 2013. One, after a year and 200,000 male poet downloads, the male poet team believes. 20,000 people were using MailPoet. Two, 12 months in, MailPoet was cash flow positive, and by the way, that's fast. Three, a conversion rate at or above 5 to 6% is great. And you'll never see the 20% rate you're probably thinking you should have for anything. Well, Kim's first statistic in that list is sort of a rehashing of things he's already told us. Gross statistical numbers are useless, and the information provided by WordPress's software repository leaves quite a bit to be desired. But your stats' second and third points are remarkable, as Kim reveals the kind of numbers covering male poet success that very few software or any other executives would share, and that numbers measuring success don't always make sense in any conventional way. And that last point is important. As you build your business process, as you think, build, and grow, you need to be flexible enough to process things that might not make sense. It can be a tall order, and contact me here if you want to chat about it. Let's talk especially if the phrase, and this applies to that last point too, conversion metric makes your skin crawl. It does mine. Statistics, bed sheets, and cheese, they're almost as disconnected as agile development and reality. And yet, somehow, their intersection is the place where business process gets built. I'm the Answer Guy, and I'll be back.